Shout out to uh, Iowa State guy, Sion Williams. He said Peskett lost to Pat O'Donnell, Harvard, and as well lost in the Lone Star duels in overtime. But you have David Carr as of now. You have Gable, and you have Kale Sanderson. Yes, and we're talking about guys at the, the top of the mount uh, who threw a career have been able to pull that off. And when you think of all the matches on the road, that really is something. Okay, 174 pounds. MJ Guyton, redshirt freshman, another freshman who's wrestled so well for Kevin Dresser and his staff, voting so well for the future of Iowa State Wrestling. Jared Sima, Jr., who's ranked 30 in the country and that is something because that means the person doing the rankings thinks you're going to be in the ncaa tournament he comes in 11 and 5 and gaitan comes in 14 and 5. and this this matchup excites me just because i felt like it was a crucial one coming into the duel and both of these guys like to go out there and throw it out there um, MJ Gaetan more of a pinner, I think. Um, Sima just gritty and finds ways. But this could be one of those matchups, I think, at some point, Tom, maybe later in their career, could be like an MMA matchup. Well, Sima is known to love to scrap. Yes. The Dectronics Open champion. You know, we saw Gaetan in our last home match against West Virginia pin Brody Conley, who was ranked 17th in just 38 seconds. And I think I had said, well, he has said, Gaetan, that is, I don't always, I don't go in there looking for a pin. It's just if I feel it and boom, no matter uh, how uh, fast it was that it got out of my mouth, uh, he had... Brody Conley on his back for a 38-second pin. Absolutely. It's there. Fire one up. It's Gaetan on an eight-match winning streak as Sima is in here. Great action right there. Sima gets to the high C. Gaetan rolls through, another roll through right there from Sima. No hands touching, reaction time is good, and he's gonna touch the hand. And that is three, the opening salvo here in this match between two more ranked wrestlers. That was pretty wild. That was a little bit of magic right there from MJ. Well, and it's these kind of matches that start showing you all the a wrestler has in his repertoire. Absolutely. I really just like when, you know, you got two programs there in great shape and they both of the, the teams look to score points. Great escape right there from Sima. And he immediately goes to the two on one, looking to push the action. Gaetan's gonna have to be careful over here. Yep. I think that's the right call. It was a year ago uh, when Gaetan beat Lance Runyon of Northern Iowa in the duel last year up in Cedar Falls that gave the Cyclones a big lift on the way to the win. And then two years ago, you had the match that went right down to heavyweight and uh, the crowd just as frenzied as you could uh, imagine. As much as I love those West gym matches, the interest in the duel between these two Big 12 rivals has reached the point that you you need a bigger venue. Yes. But those West Gym days were great. Great right here. Nice roll right there. That was just a really great sequence for both guys. And I think the thing that you're seeing, you know, from both of these programs, um, the, the U and I uh, team is behind us right here on the call. But, like, you see the guys wrestling with the guys. There's such a great camaraderie. Both guys are nice. Roll and through right look, there. Look out here. It could be curtains as the count is on. He's got the four down on the mat. The ref does. 
A great job right there from MJ Gautam. Great awareness. I don't know if he's going to be able to solidify that pin in this situation. Simma, oh, man. Throws the leg over the top. That. Well, that's a chance that says, hey, this isn't over. Great fight right there from Simma. So Gaetan, seven to one. Side headlocks, getting the count. Going to have to let that go. Very similar records between these two guys. And they're a nice duck under from Gaetan. Great action over there on the edge. The UNI corner, which we are adjacent to, encouraging Sima to change levels high and low and stay on the attack. Gaitan 14 and 5 this year. Sima 11 and 5. Nice. And now it is Sima that's in. Look out. And they are moving and grooving down there. Great awareness from Simma. He's going to have to get that leg back. MJ continuing to roll. Uh, leaves the whole situation. Simma gets in on an attack. So both wrestlers. Look out now. It could be another pin. Goes cradle, it's not there, rolls through, no points. Oh my gosh, Tom. And that's why it doesn't matter how many points are scored, it matters. And both of these guys with a commitment to action and such commitment in their own moves to risk being in danger, which, you know, sends a heart attack to the fans on both sides. And I'm loving it. Ba, 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 ba. Hook. Yeah, it's like early on when Kale Sanderson was in the wrestling room and Bobby Douglas would go, Kale, if you do that, you're going to get pinned. Oh, and here we go again. He's looking for a tilt. He has a two on one. Tilt trying to get over. I don't think it's back points yet, but he comes back through. Keeps it now, they're in the seatbelt position. No points out of that. Jared Sima and MJ Gaitan came to wrestle. He's looking for the cradle, looks to roll through, it's not there. And now, uh, he comes around and gets three. That's big. Huge. Nine to two. At, the, at a huge time, too, Tom. I'm just amazed at how these guys are willing to put themselves in danger to put the other a person in danger. Yeah. Simma looking for a reversal right here. Going to have to keep that elevated. Yeah. I think MJ's aware and is like, all right, I can give... Gaitan. Oh. Here we go again. The roll through. No change of action. Which I might. And the final seconds. Ticking off the clock. The fans coming to their seats here. And. MJ Gaitan moves to 15 and 5 on the season. But the love from these fans for the action of both of these wrestlers here today and MJ Gaitan in general throughout the season, they know this is another freshman that's uh, building a fan base for the way he wrestles. Absolutely. And you love to see people go out there to score points. 